Hello friends, welcome to the YouTube channel of Sudoku Maniacs. Now if you are new to the channel, I would suggest that you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload new content. On a regular basis, we try to upload about a minimum of 4 videos on how to solve Sudoku variants on our channel. And every Monday, we also put up a poll on the video asking the viewers what they would like to see next week. This poll continues till the Saturday night and the option that receives the maximum votes will be featured in next Monday's video along with the new poll. So do not hesitate, go ahead, subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon. So coming to today's puzzle, this was requested by one of our patrons, Palak. This is a Kropke Sudoku. So before we go into how <coughs> the details of how do we solve it, let's have a quick look at the rules. The rules state that no digit can repeat in any row, column or a bold 3x3 three three outlined region. Additionally, we will find a few <coughs> white and black circles between two cells. A white circle signifies that the two digits in those connected cells are consecutive to each other and wherever the converse also would be true that is wherever there is no white cell uh, sorry white circle the digits cannot be consecutive in those two adjacent cells and wherever we find a black circle it implies that the two digits are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 or one digit is twice the other digit and wherever there is no black circle this constraint would not be true just like the white circle and said that let's look at some of the basic things we need to have, have cleared in our mind before we start trying to solve this there are only four sets of digits that conform to the constraint of the black circle. That is one digit is twice the other. And they are one and two, two and four, three and six, and finally four and eight. Now if you notice, we did not speak about the digits five, seven, nine. So basically what happens is wherever there are black dots between two cells, we can safely eliminate 5, 7 and 9 as options for those cells. Also at times you will find a group of more than two cells connected by the black dots in a series. For example, let's look at R2C2, R2C1 and R3C1. Now since these are all in box 1, they are a series of 3 cells having connected by 2 black dots. In such a series, we can safely eliminate 3 and 6 also. Because if we had 3 here, for example, one of this would be 6 but we would not be able to have 1.5 here. So the digits in a series of more than 1 black cell will always be formed by the digits 1, 2, 4 and 8. So for example, if this was a 1, this would be 2, this would be a 4. If this was a 2, this would be a 4, this would be an 8. <coughs> and if this was a 4, this would be a 2, this would be a 1. And if this were an 8, this would be a 4 and this would be a 2. So now when you look at the extreme cells, they contain all the options 1, 2, 4 and 8. Whereas the central cell will always contain 2 and 4. We should always keep this in mind whenever we find a chain or a series of black interconnected black cells. Right? The next thing <coughs> that we should always look out for are a pair of or a set two sets of cells which are connected by black dots and we have a white dot in between. I'll just explain that example. For example, if this was an A, B, C, sorry, C and a D. 
A and B is one set of digits which are in the ratio of 1 is to 2. Similarly, C and D are also another set of digits which where one of them is twice the other. But when you look closely, B and C are connected by a white dot. Whenever we come across such a scenario, we can be assured that the digit 3 is either in the cell of B or C. So when you look at row 7 again, we see that there is a another set of A, B, C, D, right? So again, A and B are a set of cells which are connected by a black dot and we also have C, D, which is a black dot and B and C are again connected by a white dot. So we know for sure that digit 3 will be one of these and the other option would be 2, 4 and 2, 4. Right, so this we know for sure it's two, three, four. Keeping this in mind, and then we start proceeding. So now let's look at this actual puzzle. So now we have identified places for two, three, four, two, three, four. We knew this was one, two, four, eight, two, four, one, two, four, eight. We can eliminate one from the cell. The reason being. If this was a 1, this would be a 2 and I can't have a 0 0.5 here. So with 1 gone here, we can eliminate the 4 from here. Alright. Now let's look at row 7. If this was a 2, we can, this can be a 1 and a 4. Alright. Because the 2 is, share, 2 is sharing the 1 is to 2 ratio with 1 and with 4. And if it was 4, it would be 2 and 8. And with 3, we have a 6. Now, I'm putting down all these options, but I'll tell you how we can eliminate. Now, if it was a 4 and 8, we see that there is a chain of white cells here. So, if I were to increment, it would be 5, 6, and 8, 6 and 8 are not consecutive digits. So, obviously, I know for sure that 4 and 8 do not satisfy this constraint of the black box. So I can eliminate the 8 from here. If we try out with 2 and 4, 4, 3, 2, and again 2. So we know that even 4 and 2 cannot be used. So since 2 and 8 both have been eliminated, we can safely eliminate the 4 also. With the 2, if I have a 4 here, I can't have a 3, 4, right? I can eliminate the 4. But if it is the 1, 1 is consecutive with 2, right? This can be 1, 3, 2, 1, 3. But if we are using this as a 1, I can't have a 1 here. So this will have to be a 3, 2 and 1. So that's one option with 2 that can. If it was a 3, this can be a 4, 5 and a 6. And this will be a 2. So we know that this cell can only be a 2, 3 and 2, 3 pair. And we can eliminate the 2 also from here because we don't have a 4 here. Right? So now we have at least begun somewhere. We have a pair of 2 and 3 along with 1 and 6 here. Now we move on to the next black dot in the particular box. Now 2 and 3 are already blocked in column 4 row 7 and 8. So I cannot have a 1 or a 2. I cannot have a 2 and a 4. Neither can I have a 3 and a 6. So I know for sure this has to be a 4 and 8 uh, pencil marks here. But how do we know which digit comes in R8C5? Let's look at this 2, 3. 2 and 4 share the relationship of 1 is to 2 ratio. But I do not see a black dot here. So if this was a 2, I cannot have a 4. Now 3 and 4 are consecutive digits again. But I still don't see a white dot as well. So irrespective of which digit comes here, whether it be 2 or a 3, I cannot have a 4 here in the cell. So this has to be an 8 and this becomes my 4. Now with the 3 of box 8, 
logged up in column 4, this has to be a 5. Good so far? So, oh, we can take this out from here. Now, <clears throat> let's look at R9, C5 and see what can and cannot come. I cannot have a 9 because there is no white dot between the 8 and the 9. 8 is not possible. 7 is again not possible for the same reason as the 9. 6, not possible because again I don't have a white dot between the 5 and the 6. 5, 4, 3, 2. So the only digit that can come here is a 1, which makes this a 6. So this becomes a 3 and a 2, 4 and a 5. And so this would become a 4. All right. So in this box now, I am left with 7 and 9. So this would be a 7, this would be a 9 because there is no white dot beside the 6. And 9 has only one consecutive digit, which is the 8. And now, so from nothing on the grid, we have been able to put in 13 digits and made steady progress. So with this 4, this would be a 3, 5 and this would be a 2 and an 8. Good so far? <clears throat> right. Now that we have a minimum of 4 digits in columns 4, 5 and 6, let's try to see what all we can place in those columns. So the easiest way to pick up a point is a place where you have a black dot. Now, we know this is a 2 and a 3. If this is a 2, this would have to be a 1. If it, this is a 3, this would be a 6. But I cannot have a 2 and a 1 because since the 2 is already occupied here, with this 1 I require another consecutive digit. Right? And I can't have two, uh, two times within the box. So this has to be a 3 and a 6. So this becomes one 4. This becomes a 2. Alright? Oh, sorry. This will be a 2, 4. This will be a 2, 4. My bad. Right? Now with 6, I cannot have a 5 because the 5 is already present. So this has to be 7, 8 and 9. Now since we spoke over the 5, let's look where the 5 can come in box 2. It cannot be in column 5. It cannot uh, be under the 6 because there is no white out here. It cannot be here. So this is the only place for 5. This becomes a 4, 2 and a 1. And now this becomes a 4, right? This would become an 8 and a 7 because the 9 is already occupied. So with 1, 2, 4 and 8, 1, this becomes a 1, 2, 4, with 3, 5. And now let's see the missing numbers in row 3. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, 5 and 6 are not there. And I guess by now you know where the 6 and the 5 would come because of the absence of the white dot and this would become a 3. So in row 2, let's see what are the missing numbers. They are 1, 5 and 9. Remember at the start we said 5, 7 and 9 are the 3 digits that cannot be placed in a cell which is connected with a black circle. So we can safely eliminate the 5 and 9, put a 1 which is uh, related to 2 and 3. This cannot be a 5 because of the 4. So this is 9, 5 and 6. Clear? Now, this was a 7, 9, we got a 9 here. This becomes a 7. Consecutive number would be an 8 because the 6 is already occupied here. With the 8 gone, so with 4 I will have a 2 here. That leaves me with 1, 3, 5 which is required in this column. Since 1 and 5 is already there, this will have to be a 3, 5 and 1. Consecutive to 3, 2 is not possible. This becomes a 4, so this would be a 2 and an 8. Now the missing numbers. 6 cannot be here, it cannot be here. It cannot be beside the 5. You know the reason. This becomes a 6. 7 cannot be here, cannot be here. This becomes a 7. 9 cannot be here, it's not here. 9. This would be a 2 and 8. But with a 7, I do not have a white dot. So this is a 2, this is an 8. 2, this can only be a 1 or a 4, but with the 4 here, this has to be a 1. And the missing digits are 4, 9, 4, 9. 
Now I cannot have a 9 here because the 8 is already occupied here. So this becomes a 4, 9, 5, 6 and 3. I could not place a 3 here because then that would make this a 2 and we already have a 2 in the column as well as the box. Alright. So with this 2, this would be an 8 and we complete the call, uh, row with the last digit. Alright. Now for this black shell, 1 and 2 are not possible, 4 and 8 are also occupied, so this has to be 3 and a 6 because of the 3 being here. So row 8, we are missing 1 and 7, so this would be a 1, 7, 2 and 9. I don't need to reiterate, you know where the 2 will go. Awesome. So now in box 1, what was, what were, we were missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8 and 9 on this column, so this has to be a 7. Consecutive with an 8, and the last digit 9. 6 is consecutive with a 5 because the 7 is here. And this would be a 4 because we have a 6 here. That leaves with 2, 3. But with a 3 here, this is a 2, this is a 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9. 9, 7, and this is the 6, last digit. 1 and an 8. So with this one here, this has to be a 3. 1, 7, 2, 2, this is your 2, 6 and 9, 5, you know the way. And this is how a copy Sudoku becomes very simple to be solved. You just need to remember the pairings of the black digits, what will come in the center of a chain of black cells. And obviously when there are two sets of black cells connected with a white dot. Those elements are more than enough to be very comfortable with a crop case you know. Hope you liked the video. If you have liked it, please like, share the video. Let others also know the joys of solving a Sudoku. And as usual, if you do have any feedbacks for us or any suggestions, do not hesitate to note down the comments or send us an email. Please do come in to let us know if you feel there is a certain scope of improvement as well. Suggestions are always welcome. And as I said, do not forget the poll and do not forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. So till the next time, happy solving!